Welcome. I hope this presentation gives you some insight into the power of business partnerships. The shape of competition is changing dramatically. Until recently, firms used to compete against other firms, mano a mano. In the future, groups of firms will compete against other groups of firms as teams or even gangs. It will be your firm plus your partners, your joint ventures, your minority investments, your alliances, and even your supply chain against others. So your relationships with your partners will be critical to your success. We have, in a way, an outdated model for what our business is. And the model is based on our legal structure, our legal firm. You open up the 10K, right, or something like that, and you say, well, who is our company? Well, our company is this, and then we have a wholly owned subsidiary, wholly owned subsidiary. Oh, and we consolidated a 51% joint venture. That's our company, too. Oh, and the 49, that's not our company. We don't consolidate that. We, 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 get, we get a little minority interest on that. It comes out in the bottom of the, of the annual you know, statement somehow. It suddenly is a periphery. And, and, and that's a 49% joint venture. It's not consolidated, right? Now, what about an alliance which doesn't even have 49%, doesn't even have any equity, or maybe it has very little, 5 or 10%? Is that part of our business? I submit to you it is. Depending on what, how you think about it, where industry you're in, it can be just as important or more important to the success of your business as some of the things that you own, completely own. And so, in a way, our economic definition of what it is that is the competitive unit that competes in what's, quote, our business, is sometimes larger and extends outside of that narrow legal ownership definition of the firm. And I think companies have a hard time with that. Investors have a hard time with that. Wall Street has a hard time with that. Wall Street doesn't have a good way to say, OK, here's the company, and here are the kind of deals they have, and there's value there, and let me kind of include that in the valuation. Well, they're not really owned, so they're not part of the company. Uh, and obviously, uh, you know, legal, legal uh, approaches don't, don't take a look at that. Unless there's a lawsuit, then you're responsible for everything you did. Then you're responsible for your whole supply chain, right? Suddenly, Ford is now responsible for Firestone, or so the lawsuit would claim. Uh, and, and, and I think it's important to think about those lawsuits because it tells you something about people attributing value to a combination which is not necessarily a legal one in a, in a structural sense.